What separates me from a lot of people is they go into a daunting task and the task is overwhelming. And I heard the pull-up record was 4,020 pull-up. People are like, oh my God. I went right to a pen and paper. They go, what are you doing? I was breaking the math down. You have to be open-minded to the possibilities that I can do this. The enemy has to know he is not going to give up. Once you shut your mind down to the possibility that it can be achieved, there's no way it can happen. And he was a janitor. And no one knew who the fuck this man was. He had the highest award in all the military for heroics. For heroics, saving lives, putting his life on the line. Could have, you know, could have been killed. And he is now basically, you know, cleaning shitters for young kids. And we can all imagine how that probably went. You know, there's probably some, you know, a little bit of taunting here and there. I have to continuously get better myself. I have to cap my success because for me to help people out, I can't just say I did it once and I'm good. And that is evolution. You must continue to evolve. And you don't evolve for me in my job unless I cap myself somewhere and say, okay, you made this much money get back to fucking work. I am exactly what I should have been. Because now I I realize that in that one second. I go through all that. I know how it's going to feel because I failed so many times before. Failure is the ultimate thing, man. I failed so many times before. That's why I don't look at failure anymore as failure. There's several days I don't want to do shit. I procrastinate like a motherfucker. This is one of those days, man. I put my shoes and my socks and my shorts on every day. Woke up this morning and just stared at them. A lot of times we forget just how badass we are. We have to always remember our purpose will always be there. Your mind has to be stronger than your feelings. So you be the motherfucker that always gets it done. Stay hard. People are fucking hilarious. They are so threatened and jealous and insecure and every word in between all that shit. When I was fat and lazy and insecure, struggling in life, people were giving me all this advice, trying to help me out. Well, I went on the other side of the spectrum. I lost weight, I started studying, and guess what? They still had shit to say. People don't wanna see you better than them. You make them feel good about themselves when you're fat and lazy, and you make them feel like shit when you come from the depths of hell and decide to fucking make it. Don't hate a motherfucker because he worked harder than you. Stay hard. Weak people, Hate strong minds, and there's an infestation of weak people in this fucking world. See, you're born with one mouth for a reason, to speak what you believe in. And what happens is the goal of weak people is to silence you, to what they do to you is to isolate you. You start speaking out both sides of your mouth. They make you so fucking soft, you become a fucking bobblehead. You start to shake your head yes, for whatever they fucking want. Speak your truth. Don't be a fucking bobblehead. Stay hard. We are training kids and people to be soft in a world that continuously gets harder. It doesn't correlate. You have to build a person that can withstand the pressures of whatever they're gonna be dealing with in life. And we don't do that. Merry Christmas, (laughs) motherfucker. And you don't, like, you are, like, cut. You don't have, like, stretch marks and all that stuff. Like, how? I developed a psychotic weight routine. It was called, like, anywhere from the 100 to 500 routine. So I pick a light weight, and I go in there, and I smoke out 100 times without stopping. And if you do stop, you don't rack it. You rest up. And by you resting up, your yes. muscles are still working. And you can only rest for 10 seconds. It literally was burning so so much muscle, like my muscle was just getting fatigued, the lactic acid, and it kind of kept that muscle nice and tight. Yeah. And that's what helped me out a lot.